narrators. Very good. You remember Mrs. Miller's helping you with writing today. We've been working so hard on our narrative stories. I want to tell you a story. The other day, when you were walking into the classroom from being gone over the weekend, I asked a few of you what you did over the weekend. One friend said, I played. One friend then said, first I went to my grandma's house and then my cousins came. We played tag outside and it was so much fun that I didn't want to go home, but my mom said I had to. Which story do you think had more details? Right, story number two. Very good. When we're writing narrative stories, we can ask ourselves the five questions we learned from our last unit. Who's there? Where are they? What are they doing? Why are they doing that? And when are they doing that? So these are the five W's, writing with the five W's. Who is there? Where are they? What are they doing? When, uh, why are they doing it? And when are they doing it? So these are some five W's to think about when you're asking a question. So think about this story. The dog is black. Now listen to this story. The big black dog was running and jumping. Which story has more detail? Which story answers some more of these questions? Right, we know the dog is big and we know the dog is black. So the second one is better. It gives us more details. The more details we have, the more exciting we think the story is. So if we know who's in the story with you, we know where you might be, we know what you might be doing, the story is more exciting. If I said, I went to the park, it was fun. Okay, yeah, right. But you could say, I went to the park and played with my friends. We played on the slide and it was so big. It was so hot outside. I had a great time. That's a little more exciting. We learn a little bit more from that story. So that's what I want you to think about when you're writing. I want you to think about adding some of those details. Could be color words, could be your friend's name, could be asking or answering any of these questions. That would be a great thing to think about when you are doing your writing. All right, so um, remember we talked about the cake and the slice? And so I want you to just do a slice of the whole cake today. So when you're doing that slice, you're able to give us some more details when you are writing. Let's think about this one. When we write about one slice, we're able to tell a lot more detail. For example, the story of the friend that went to his grandma's house, the cake story would have been his entire weekend, but instead he told me just one slice. He answered some of these questions. He told me his cousins came and they played tag and they were having so much fun. He didn't want to go home, but his mom said he had to go home. So he was giving me the people in it and where he was and how much fun he was having. He was giving me lots of these details. And we do that a lot when we talk. But when we write, sometimes we forget those details. So today when you're writing, I want you to think about those details. Think about who's in the story. Think about where you're at. Those are all great things to make your story more exciting. So um, I want you to share a slice of a story with someone. Think about adding those details. Remember I talked about the zoo yesterday. I could talk about um, going to Dairy Queen. That's my big story. But I really want to talk about my slice. That's my ice cream I got when I was at Dairy Queen. So I went to Dairy Queen with my family. I got the best Oreo blizzard ever. I ate the whole thing and it was so good. I was so happy, right? I told just a slice of my story. So think about maybe something you did over the weekend may, or something your whole day yesterday. Instead of talking about your whole day, I want you to talk about just one slice, the funnest thing you did. Maybe you went outside and played. Tell me who played with you. Tell me what you played. Tell me about the weather outside. Maybe you had a really yummy supper. It was your favorite thing. 
that you eat and your mom made it for you. Tell me about that. Tell me what it was. Tell me if you helped her make it. Tell me how yummy it tasted. Those are the things that I want you to think about when you are writing. All right? So today I want you to really try and write another story and think about your slice and think about adding some of those details, some of those colors, some of those numbers, the people in your story, where it happened. Make that story super exciting for people. Okay? Make that story exciting for Mrs. Miller to want to read, to want to look at, to want to listen to. Because you do it when you talk. So now I want you to start trying to do it when you write. All right? So give that a try today. Make sure you share that with your teacher. And I hope you have a wonderful writing day today. Bye-bye.